case of finding the mean, the variance, and standard deviation of a discrete random variable. So these are the different formulas we're going to use in solving for the mean, this formula, for the variance, this formula, and for the standard deviation, that's the square root of the variance. So we have this given, so let x be the discrete random variable with the probability distribution given below. So from this distribution, we can solve now the mean. Now since formula for the mean, that's the summation of x times the p of x. So we need to find first the value of this x times the p of x. So for x, p of x, just the product of x and the p of x. So multiply these two uh, columns. So we have this 0 times 0 0.05, this one is 0. Then 1 times 0 0.12, that's 0 0.12. And 2 times 0 0.17, that's 0 0.34. And this 3 times 0 0.37. So with the help of our calculator, so 3 times 0 0.37, that's 1.11. And this 4 times 0.20, that's 0.80. And 5 times 0.09, that's 0.45. Then to solve for uh, the summation of x times the p of x, so just add all these numbers. So that's 0.12 plus 0.34 plus 1.11 plus 0.45. 0.80 then plus 0.45 so therefore the submission of x times the p of x that's 2.82 now since the submission of x times the p of x is the mean therefore the mean is 2.82 then to solve for the variance from this formula so the submission of x squared times the p of x so we need to get first the value of x squared and that x squared is the square root of x so for 0 squared that's 0 for 1 squared that's 1 times 1 that's 1 for 2 squared that's 2 times 2 it's 4 for 3 squared that's 3 times 3 that's 9 for 4 squared it's 4 times 4 that's 16 and for 5 squared that's 5 times 5 that's 25 then to solve for this uh, x squared times the p of x, so this is x squared and this one is uh, p of x, so just multiply these two columns, that's x squared and the p of x. So for the first class, we have 0 times 0 0.05, that's 0, then 1 times 0.12, that's 0.12. And 4 times 0 0.17, 4 times 0 0.17, that's 0 0.68. Then 9 times 0 0.37, so 9 times 0 0.37, that's 0 0.33. Then 16 times 0 0.20. 16 times 0.20, that's 3.20. And we have 25 times 0.09. So 25 times 0.09, that's 2.25. Then to get the summation of x squared times the p of x, so just add all these numbers. So that's 0 0.12 plus 0.68, then plus 3.33, plus 3.20, plus 2.25. So therefore, the submission of x squared p of x is 9.58. Then to solve for the variance, so we have this one, the submission of x squared times the p of x. This value 9.58 minus this x p of x, that's 2.82, but there's a square outside, so 2.82 squared. 
So to solve now for the variance, so 9 point, so 9 point, uh, 58, then minus 2.82, then squared. So the variance now is 1.6276. So this is now the variance, 1.6276. And for the standard deviation, so just the square root of the variance. So that's the square root of 1.6276. So to solve for the standard deviation, so the square root of 1.6276. So therefore, the standard deviation is 1.2758. So standard deviation now, that's 1.2758. So this is now the mean the variance and the standard deviation of the given probability distribution.